I'm here with my mom, Kathy, Hi. and we're going to discuss 10 ways your mindset has shifted since Swedish death cleaning. That's right. I'm going to show you my house and show you what I've decluttered and talk about it. So. And what's changed. Yeah, a lot. My parents have been Swedish death cleaning and decluttering for the last four years at least. Yeah, at least. Yeah. And I have quite a few videos uh, with us Swedish death cleaning and mm -hmm. what Swedish death cleaning is. So I will link those down below in case you're interested. But we're going to focus on the 10 things that have changed okay. significantly and your way of thinking has changed as yes. well. Yeah. You invited me over to talk about that. I did. <laughs> it started with clothes. I said, come over and look at what I got for summer yeah. to replace the clothes that I have been decluttering over the the last you know season and prior to that a lot but just to replace last summer's clothes and just this morning you told me that you found even more I, to declutter yes I have a whole pile of stuff that I found shocking I didn't expect I thought I'd just clean the bathrooms <laughs> out and my clothes and I found a whole bunch more yeah wow. I know that's <laughs> good I'm a declutterer I decluttered about seven items right here unexpectedly but I only shop now to replace the same number of things or less than the items I've decluttered. I don't want to get over, I don't want to get my closet all packed up again with extra clothes I don't need. That's so, a huge mindset shift. Yeah, it huge. is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it is. Like my closet, I can't even believe how empty it is. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> but the good thing is you only have the things that you really love yes. in there and you wear. Yes. Everything I have now, I wear. I don't put anything aside for special occasions or things that don't look good, they're gone. I only have what I wear, so I can grab anything out of there and I'll have a pair of pants to go with the shirt. But anyways, I have a couple wild shirts that I can wear with shorts or pants. And another huge mindset shift you mentioned was you're no longer keeping the just-in-case yeah. items. You start off, you're 30, you're 40, then you're 50 and 60, and when you get 60, and you don't wear nylon-y socks with high heels anymore. So, but you keep them just in case one day you might need them. Is this all your socks or you have a whole nother batch somewhere else? <laughs> yeah, there's no ball gowns in here. There's nothing. There's no boho tops with all the stuff that I never wear but buy because I'm so attracted to it. And that was your fantasy self as well. Yes. You uh -huh. were buying stuff. Yeah. Because you thought one day I might go on a ship vacation yeah, and I yeah. might need this. And... Or I, I just look at clothes and I think they're beautiful and I buy them. I bought a skirt once that was so pretty. It had eyelets and embroidery. It was a big white skirt and I'd just hang it here and look at it like you look at a piece of art. And so finally I had to get rid of it because there was no blouse that went with it. It looked terrible, but it was such a pretty skirt. So. Yeah. And I asked Shannon if she wanted it and she wouldn't take it. Because <laughs> it would have been the same problem yeah. for me. Yeah, you can't wear it. But honestly, your so mind has just I changed. quit doing that. I yeah. quit doing that. I don't buy that anymore. It's so freeing for my brain too. I know what I want. Pick up and you organize it to where you keep the summer stuff yeah. where you can get at it quicker mm -hmm. and then the winter stuff back out yeah, of the way. Yeah, put away. Since yeah. we're in summer now, you just yeah. shift it when yeah. you... Change That's seasons. what I do. Move up. I'm no longer buying things on a whim like this dress and these pants. So another mindset shift is looking at the same places that I've already decluttered, which I did today. I was looking through makeup and I thought I would look for one certain one and I looked underneath and I found all these things I don't even need. One is this mirror I've held on to, a mirror in a box, another mirror, little compact mirror. And these makeup bags. I had just decluttered this bathroom. Three makeup bags, not being used, very old. I don't need them. It feels so good to have them gone. I have so much room now. So anyways, and then I went into the other bathroom. Travel bags, makeup bags. I, I have already what I use. I don't need these. I don't know why I've been storing those, but I don't need them anymore and I'm going to get rid of them. So, yay. So what I do now is when I'm in a room, I just look through it really quickly and see what I've missed to declutter and I always find things. I can't even believe it. Oh yeah, another thing I found in there. This mirror. I know it's a vintage, but I never use it, never looked at it. I think it was my grandmother's, but it's been living under a sink for years. So it's going to go. Someone will love it and use it. Another mindset shift that I've done when it comes to my clothing is I've adopted kind of a uniform. All the tops go with the pants. I could just grab anything. They all go together. A few months ago, I came over and my mom and I went through this whole cupboard and yeah. decluttered so much stuff. Yeah, we did, we did. And you were a little resistant yeah. at the time. 
And then, what, what now? What do you so now? now I have so much room in my storage cabinet. It's food and it's you know some kitchen supplies. But I mean, my shelves are empty and <laughs> almost, and I don't feel like I have to run out and just pack it all. I buy food when I need it, and but I just don't have backup. And so I have a lot of space. I don't feel that overwhelming clutter. I just go in there and get what I want and I can find it. It's just right in front of me. You just mentioned to me another mindset shift is yeah. if you have empty spaces, you don't feel as if you need to yes. put stuff in there. No, I actually love the empty space. It's so easy to see everything and grab it and put it back. Not, you know, if someone else put something in there when you were gone, there's no room for anything. You have to move everything around. There's now there's space for everything and it's it's a really good feeling to have open space in your the nice closet. thing too when i look in there is i can see to the back you couldn't see to the back oh, before yeah, yeah every, <laughs> and there's a lot of room yeah everything's up to the front there's no things hiding back there that you have to pull everything out and dig around it's just right there that's a huge it, yeah shift yeah. way of thinking and that yeah. took me a long time to get to this point <laughs> yeah which is good though yeah i, I know mean, it's been a slow process but i think yeah. The transformation is huge. Yeah. Talk about this landing. Okay, another mindset shift I've done is I don't put a bunch of decor in my house. It's here's some pictures. This used to be just stacked with vases and flowers and tchotchkes. Yeah, tchotchkes. Yeah, I had a tchotchke area, but no more. And it's, I love seeing the simpleness of simple decor and not too much. Less. Less. Wait, less is better. It's probably easier too if you want to wipe that down oh, yeah. at any point. You don't have to move everything. Yeah, once, in. once a year I wipe it down. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. Honestly, it looks better yeah. as well. And I look at other people's houses now sometimes and I go, whoa, I'd love to get in here with a box and clear it out. See? They would be so happy. So I know how you feel now when you would come over here and you go, ah, there's I never stuff anything. Anything. No, I know, but you would look and you go, how about we move that? I go, no, don't touch it. It's mine. It's mine. But now I've changed the way I feel. I don't, I don't have that feeling anymore that I have to keep everything out. Most of the stuff I move, I get rid of because I'm not going to have it out and I don't miss it at all. If you look at these old videos, I had a lot of stuff, especially in the other room and it would just, it would make me insane. I'll put some pictures if I can yeah. find them up there, what it used to look yeah. like. Because even though some people might say this is still a lot, yeah. it's really nothing yeah. compared to what you had. Yeah. It, it's stressful when you have too much stuff. You keep thinking like, what am I going to do with this? And what am I going to do with that? Yeah. Who wants this someday? I don't know. So. And it becomes part of the background as well where you don't yeah. even notice. Yeah. It's not like it's bringing you joy to right. have it there. It's just no. like a background. Okay. So the other thing that I stopped doing is buying... Tons of backup stuff. Creams, deodorants, soaps. I used to have every cupboard full of that. Now it's like, if I'm using a deodorant, when it's halfway down, I'll go buy a new one. And my, therefore my shelves are emptier and it's just a lot better. I don't have- You're not storing I'm it I'm not so storing much. it. And a lot of times you buy stuff like, oh, I've got to get a bunch of that. And then you don't like it anymore. And then you're stuck mm -hmm. with all this stuff. And then you never get rid of it. Just in case, you just yep. might need it, so. My husband actually said something which was shocking. Is he said, "I'll let the store store the items for me." Ah, uh, you can believe that. Yeah, that's that's really thoughtful. <laughs> so wow. we're all changing our yes. mindsets. <laughs> yes, it's easy to get. You just get it when you need it. Yeah, and you still keep enough too if there was an emergency, yeah. and food and yeah. that kind of thing. But just less in general. Yes, and I've been yeah. doing the same thing yeah. as well. It's Another mindset shift that we were discussing yeah. is how my mom never gets threatened anymore or angry about the thought of decluttering. I'll help you. Let's see. Oh no, you're not helping me. <laughs> she doesn't want my input on what to keep. <laughs> old stuff. Yeah, I would be very protective of my old collectibles and family heirlooms and things that I've been storing and hoarding. So now I, I don't have that feeling anymore that I have to protect them. If it's not good for me, I just let it go, give it to someone else who will enjoy it, and I, and I don't think about it ever again. So yes, that threat, and I know a lot of you are feeling threatened when someone comes in and says, do you really need five sets of china? Yes, they were this person's and that person's. It's a good feeling you'll come to that point where you don't feel threatened anymore, and that's where I am. Especially when you get into the habit of decluttering, yeah. and I think seeing the benefits of it. Oh yeah and that weight that's been lifted off and all yes. of that. So I know even some people get threatened with decluttering videos. I get comments sometimes oh, yeah. that, why are you getting rid of that and yeah. this and that? 
And I think it's just because maybe they haven't arrived at yeah. that spot where yeah. they're ready to let go. Yeah. And I think that that's what Swedish death cleaning actually did for you yes. after reading that book and, and realizing that you don't want to leave all this stuff to me because I'm probably just going to throw yeah. it away. <laughs> I'd rather get it to somebody who wants it now because I, I don't need all this stuff and I, I don't have any use for it. So it's time for me to pass it on to somebody, family members, yeah, other people I don't know. Just let them have it and yeah. enjoy it. Yeah. And you wanted to do it at this point. Oh yeah. I, I, I've read so many comments on here about people who had their uh, parents pass away and leave them with just nightmares of, you know, Extra stuff. Attics and basements full of stuff that they can't even deal with. So I don't want to do that to you. Yeah. So I'm doing. And luckily, it. your dad didn't really do that to no, you. No, my dad he had was gone through everything. Oh yeah. He and was it, like the ultimate minimalist. Yeah, he was. <laughs> he just throws stuff in the trash. I'm going no. So he didn't think about it. He just was just a natural minimalist. Yeah, he yeah. just didn't want the extra yeah. stuff. Yeah, which it's is so funny. That was nice for me not to have to deal with that. Yeah. yeah. Here goes the boxes. Bye-bye boxes. She'll be digging that out later. <laughs> when I got here, you told me that decluttering is it, contagious. Yes, it is. By me decluttering, my husband got inspired and he went through all of his clothes, as you've seen in the videos, and he went through his office, pictures, just stuff he never used, but he kept, for some reason, shoes. So he definitely is on board with decluttering, and, it's, and it makes him happier too. He's, his life is way simpler and manageable. And yeah, it's just so. been ins inspiration he's yeah. gathered from yeah. watching us declutter and yeah. even watching my videos yeah. and watching you declutter and seeing how there's so much space and yeah. it's organized better and everything just... Yeah, and I've ha even had friends who haven't even said anything to me but probably know what we're doing and have seen maybe a video or two that say something to me like, oh, I just cleaned my garage out or, yeah. or I'm getting rid of stuff and... and it's probably unintentional and don't even relate it to it, but it is, it's, it's contagious. You just yeah. see someone else doing it and you get inspired. So I hope this I is I think that's why some you. people watch oh, the yeah. channel is because they get that decluttering motivation, inspiration. Yeah. Oh, definitely. And we've even been called by a few family friends and stuff to go and help them yeah. declutter at their yeah. house and and just talk through items and yeah. help them let go of stuff. If you want to know more about Swedish death cleaning and how we used it to declutter my parents' home, I have a video that talks about the differences between decluttering and Swedish death cleaning and what it is, and I'll link all of those videos down below in the description box. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you. And we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.